What's up guys? Uh, my name's Matt. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Uh, my channel is now mostly based around film photography. Uh, that's what my last couple videos have been about, even though it's been about a year and a half since I posted a YouTube video, but we're back and we're back in Sacramento, back in the garage. And if it looks like I'm sweating, it's because I am. It's, cause it's like 100 degrees outside my garage right now, but it's all right. Recently, uh, I picked up a Hasselblad 503CX. Um, this is my second 6x6 medium format camera. The camera that I was shooting before I bought the Hasselblad was a Rolleiflex 2.8D, which also shoots 6x6 negatives. Um, and the camera before that was actually a Mamiya RZ67, which shoots a slightly larger 6x7 negative. This is a camera that I've been looking at for a little while, mostly because one of my friends got one, and I went out shooting with him, and I... I just had to have it. <laughs> um, so here we are. Uh, I got the all black version, as you can hopefully see. Um, it does have the 80 millimeter planar T-Star lens on there. Uh, very, very nice lens. I've really liked it so far. But my first shoot that I went out and did with this camera just to kind of make sure everything worked and get a feel for it, I went out and shot Sunrise. I went downtown Sacramento and just kind of walked around, went to Tower Bridge. I went to a very popular donut place around here, uh, Marie's, if you guys are from here. And I kind of recorded my journey and I'm gonna share it with you guys today, share the pictures that I took on this camera for the first time. So let's get started. What's up? It is 5.20 in the morning. Um, I'm tired and it's hot, but just got the Hasselblad 503CX yesterday. And what better way to test it than to wake up at 5 a.m. and go take pictures. So I'm gonna drive to the first location and then we will load the camera for the first time and take our first picture. Fifteen minute drive later, we're at our first spot. It's Marie's Donuts. If you're from Sacramento, I'm sure you recognize this spot. Um, very, very iconic part of Sacramento. So it's starting to get a little bit light outside. You can see that was a bad example. Uh, it's starting to get light outside, so we gotta be quick with loading this. So here we go. Bit of an awkward angle here while we're in the car. So here's a Hasselblad. I'm not sure how well you can see it if I'm being honest. Um, I'm gonna remove this little rubber lens cap thing. So, 503CX with the A12 back, uh, 80 millimeter 2.8 lens, all the all black version. So we're just gonna, I've never done this before, so don't roast me, but let's open this up. And then I think I was trying to decide between, sorry. Trying to decide between either Portra 400 or Ektar, or not Ektar, Ektachrome. <sighs> I think I just gotta go with the, the Portra. Can never go wrong. And if it doesn't work out, I don't waste a $20 roll of film. <laughs> you just put the roll like this so that the paper is opening up on the inside. Kind of get it seated in there like that. And you're gonna pull this paper all the way around into the take-up spool. And just kind of put it in there. Oh. Make sure it stays. And then you're just gonna roll it up. Yep, there we go. And then we'll see an arrow come up. And there we go. And then I'm just going to take the cartridge and drop it back in there. Oh, I should probably put the dark slide in, huh? Okay, lock it in. Dark slide in. Please go in, there you go. And then we got this little crank. And we just, oh, it's tough. Turn that sucker. That was a struggle, but we got frame one. Let's do this. Frame one. Mm 
Just took my first two frames of the day. Uh, I think they're good, who knows? <laughs> but um, I liked I liked the light, I liked the, the framing. Um, I did, I don't know if you guys could see in that video, but I did switch out the waist level find, hello. I did switch out the waist level finder for the prism finder, just so I could get um, a bit of a more natural angle and I wasn't like staring up at the donut place. So, done with the first place. It's getting pretty light outside actually. So now I'm going to run to our next location. Okay, location number two. You can't see it from here because there's construction, as you can see, unfortunately, but uh, we're at Tower Bridge again. I mean, if you're even from like anywhere in Sacramento, you definitely know Tower Bridge. But it's getting nice and nice and light out. There's a very nice sunrise behind Tower Bridge. So we're gonna go, we're gonna try and capture it. I do have to like lug all my stuff and like my big ass tripod, but it's all worth it. It's all worth it for the, all worth it for the shot. So 6 a.m. We got 10 frames left. Let's do it. So I'm walking over to where I want to take the first picture and I'm gonna try and, and record myself taking the pictures, but this isn't, I mean like being alone, taking pictures by yourself, never like the greatest idea. Um, just like, you don't want people to steal your stuff. So I'm gonna try and be careful if I can find a spot to set up my phone to record myself and I will, but if not, um, I'll figure something else out. <laughs> that golden light uh <laughs> i've got my next shot all lined up i'm right here outside the bridge um i did realize that the one that i was trying to shoot the bridge through the trees i definitely didn't set the aperture correctly so that shot was probably but that's all right it's all part of the fun anyways uh here we go next shot i can't really see there we go next shot let's do this On frame number nine of the morning. Uh, I'm not really sure where I'm gonna go next. I'm walking through old Sacramento right now, but I don't know, I've walked through here so many times that I'm not really sure I'm gonna find anything new, but. about to take this shot at the 10th frame i snapped the ninth frame and this is just a second ago the guy on that boat going under the bridge i thought that was nice but i'm going to take this next picture of the reflection of the bridge in the windows i thought that was like a like, an, like a little artsy i thought the the reflection of the bridge in the windows would be kind of a nice more of an abstract way to capture this bridge it has been photographed thousands of times so Got the waist level finder back on. I shot a couple frames on the other side of the bridge with the eye level, um, just cause it was a little bit easier for the angle. But yeah, we're gonna 
Here we go. <laughs> Okay, so I just got back to the car. We we're out shooting for about 45 minutes. It's almost seven now. Um, I think the plan now is we're going to go get some coffee and then I'm going to share my thoughts on shooting with the Hasselblad and kind of my first impressions because that was my first time shooting a roll with it. Yeah, I got some thoughts. I really, overall, I really enjoyed it, but we'll, we'll save that for later. Here we go. I need to stop saying here we go. <laughs> If you need a coffee shop in Sacramento, the mill where I'm at right now, very good. I am like trying to look around to make sure there's no one like watching me because I'm really awkward, but um, also, sorry the angle's so weird. I have my watch as a viewfinder, but yeah, anyways. So, the hustle blood. I found shooting at the hustle blood uh, really, really enjoyable this morning. Um, I think the biggest thing for me is the weight. It's not very heavy. I can easily hold it with one hand. As you can see here, I'm just kind of like twirling it around. And I think something that's like, it might just be to my case, but the shutter button really does fall like right where my finger lays naturally, which I really enjoy. It's not something like the RZ, like I used to own, where it was kind of unwieldy, you know? Something else I noticed while shooting was that the focusing screen, oh my God, the focusing screen at F2.8, super bright i'm not sure if you can see that but oh yeah you totally can see that look how bright that is that's something that i really didn't expect i've heard that hasselblad focusing screens are very nice but i i didn't expect it to be quite that bright um i think any cons i've had so far i don't really like focusing on the lens like this it's just super slow compared to something like the rz or something like the Rolleiflex that i used to shoot with right before i bought this right, let's just take some getting used to and honestly most of the pictures today i took were taken at infinity but uh it's just super slow to focus which not a big deal i guess and i think the last little like complaint that i'd have about the the hustle blood so far is that the dark slide is on the left um i just found that like it's easier for me to just pull it on the right side on the rz but it's not a big deal i mean that literally just like an extra second of me going like this i mean i'm just nitpicking but yeah i really enjoyed it so far and now i gotta get this developed so like i said at the coffee shop um i've really enjoyed shooting with the hasselblad it's got a few quirks that i mentioned like the dark slide or the the lens being a little bit hard to turn but since that morning i've actually gone out one other time and shot another roll um i haven't gotten it developed yet it was um ilford xp2 which is c41 black and white film but the experience just like that morning was super fun it's a super nice camera to hold it's a perfect size is probably my favorite thing about it um not too heavy although after a while walking around it did kind of start to hurt my wrist but but again you just get a strap you could just put it in your bag when you're not shooting it's not really a big deal um just something i noticed and it's nothing compared to the rz if you've ever shot with an rz you know how insanely heavy those cameras are but yeah i think that's going to wrap up the video it's kind of a shorter informal video but um i had a lot of fun making it I really hope to be making more film videos. If you guys enjoyed this, uh, please let me know. If you are around Sacramento and you want to see a certain location or uh, you just want to say hi, um, I'll be here. <laughs> um, I'm hopefully going back to LA in at the end of August, but until then, I'll be sticking around here and probably do a few more photo shoots. Uh, maybe I'll do a night shoot coming up pretty soon um, or just another walk around Sacramento if this is what you guys enjoy. So yeah, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. It's kind of an awkward angle, but I forgot to say when I was recording the main part of the video that I do have a website now, so if you guys want to check it out, I have links to my social media, I have a way to get in contact with me, and I have my portfolio of all my past work. Uh, if you guys want to check it out, that'd be really awesome, and if you don't, totally no worries, of course.